Have you heard about the so-called dangers of high protein? Now, some say that a high protein diet can cause osteoporosis and even harm your kidneys. But is that really true? We're gonna explore that now in this video. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how much protein you should eat per day. Just to give a quick primer, proteins are the building blocks of life and every living cell uses them for both structural and functional purposes. They're made up of long chains of amino acids linked together like beads on a string. There are nine essential amino acids we must get from food and 12 non-essential that the body can produce itself. The amino acid profile of a food determines its quality as a source of protein. So the best sources of protein in the diet contain all the essential amino acids in ratios that are appropriate for humans. Now per gram, meat is a top quality source of high protein for humans. Uh, there are also a lot of plant-based foods with a strong amino acid profile, but there's also a lot without. Protein does not cause osteoporosis. There's a theory that a high protein intake increases the acid load in your body, which then causes the body to remove calcium from the bones to help neutralize that acid. But the longer term studies just don't support this theory. A review published in 2011 concluded that there is no evidence that increased protein harms the bones. If anything, the evidence points to a higher protein intake improving bone health, not the other way around. The same was found in a more recent review with high protein intake linked to better bone health. Although the authors note that increased protein may only be beneficial alongside an adequate calcium intake. You can see the argument that protein causes bone health problems is not evidence-based. Uh, in fact, a large component of this theory overlaps with the acid alkaline diet theory, which we have thoroughly debunked in another video. If your kidneys are healthy, protein is harmless. The kidneys are a remarkable organ that filter unneeded substances out of the bloodstream through urine. Some say the kidneys need to work hard to clear the metabolites of protein from the body, leading to increased strain. But kidneys are always under loads of stress. That's what they're designed for. In fact, about 20% of the blood pumped by the heart goes to the kidneys. They filter a total of 180 liters or 48 gallons of blood every single day. Additional dietary protein increases their workload by insignificant amounts. Looking through the literature, there are no studies showing harmful effects of protein in the average person with healthy kidneys. In this thorough review, the authors concluded there is no significant evidence for a detrimental effect of high protein intakes on kidney function in healthy persons after centuries of a high protein Western diet. Even bodybuilders who tend to eat very large amounts of protein, both from food and supplements, have healthy kidneys. Additionally, the two main factors for kidney failure are high blood pressure or hypertension and diabetes. Now, an increased protein intake does not contribute to either of those conditions. And in fact, some studies have found that it may even be beneficial. Now, in saying that, if you already have existing kidney damage, then increasing your protein intake is potentially harmful and definitely not recommended. Uh, a kidney that's working at suboptimal rate should not be made to work harder, even if it is only a tiny bit. Uh, it's kind of like if you had a broken ankle, you wouldn't walk on it or, or run on it if you could help it. Lastly, let's look at how much you should eat per day, assuming your kidneys are healthy. If you're sedentary and not looking to change your body composition much, a daily target of at least 0.8 grams per kilo of body weight or 0.36 grams per pound is a good target. This should prevent protein deficiency. Now, if you're an active person or attempting to lose body fat while preserving muscle, then a daily intake of one to 1.5 grams per kilo of body weight or 0.45 to 0.68 grams per pound is a good target. For athletes, I aim for 1.5 to 2.2 grams per kilo of body weight, which is up to a gram per pound per day. Now I tend to eat around 1.5 grams per kilo and typically recommend the one to 1.5 gram per kilo body weight range, just because of all the health benefits a high, pre a high protein intake has. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can click that big red button below the video to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel so that you can catch all our other great videos as they're released.